winding in the sheet with a 6 kg load on it took too long. If we used a 12 volt, it'd take half the time, but would still be take too long. The Viper 10 speed controller sits on a circuit board. The motor has a 5 amp fuse. Two diodes allow the current to reverse through the end stop micro switches. To impact the circuit board, PCB terminal blocks are used. Later on these could be replaced by wiring the motor and the switches directly onto the circuit board, reducing some cost. The 3-to-1 gearbox uses two pairs of gears so that the input and output shafts are in line. The gears are much wider than I expected. The second feature is the sheet drum. When we let it out, but there's no load on the sheet, it doesn't rotate, it moves along the threaded axle. When we pull it out, it revolves back until it hits the driving dogs. The driving dogs are two 1mm thick brass strips brazed onto a washer. That washer is brazed onto the brass threaded rod. The drum has a similar pair of brass strips on a washer which is aerodited to the drum. It goes along, it will move, and it hits the dogs, and now it's driving. Two pairs of plastic gears are used again to have the drum and cam axles in line. They have an 8 to 1 ratio, so the cans do not rotate a full turn, and the drum rotates 7 times. This ratio of 300 to 1 is really the limit we can go on this design. If we let it, if we let it out, it runs on after the joystick has been centred. Power on, power off. So the next design is going to have to be a different type of gearbox.